Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Once upon a time, I heard that Bach's Italian concerto was Bach for people who do not like Bach. When I heard this, I thought it was a most clever formulation and, in general, a most useful one, not least in music. Let me add to that today another proposition of a related, in some ways, opposite concept. Bach for people who really like Bach. I'd like to play for you today a beautiful etude by Charles Valentin Alcan. And I would say that it's Alcan for people who like Alcan. Now, the thing about Alcan's music is that it very often does not express anything. It is about the power of inner logic and the beauty of construction. I would say that in this etude, he is the opposite of Liszt. Let's think about form and function. With Liszt's etudes, we could say that function comes first. He comes up with a dramatic structure and finds forms that fill the structure convincingly. With Alcan, we have here a material with a certain texture. And instead of putting this material in places where it helps us tell a story, this piece is about the intrinsically natural ways that this material develops itself and presents itself in different lights. Let me mention two of them. The first is turning it upside down to create the conflict in this piece, a kind of black and white duality. Liszt might have taken one and the same tune, that is, the same notes, and put them into a different form in order to create this kind of contrast. But here, the form stays the same, and it's the notes that are turned upside down. The second example I'd like to bring to your attention is the way that by artificially accelerating this material, a special, very interesting sonority is created, which sings for a very long time in the piano, with which this piece ends.